Hey everybody. So today's plan is to go get some lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead to my super secret out of the wind regardless of the direction spot and just gonna pick up some small snappers to make a video out of. And I think the feature we're gonna do is focusing on those smaller 10 to 11 inch snappers that are fairly common for people, especially beginner fishermen. You'll find you'll catch some of those rather than big ones right off the bat. But they make a great meal if you know how to prepare them right. So that's what we're going to do today. Well, let me show you my grocery getter rig. So I use my Wilderness Systems Tarpon 140. A lot lighter, less moving parts than the Hobie. Uh, got the, just a paddle, water, dry box to keep my wallet keys in, life jacket. I'm taking two rods. One I'll have with artificials. One I'm going to have with some cut bait. Got my just a basic drop anchor, mushroom anchor. Uh, don't need anything special since we're basically going to be fishing on the edge of flats into little cuts. And then I got my cooler, which I keep my just basic tools, scissors, knife, pliers. Um, this is my tackle box for these quick rigs. So I've got some uh, plastic paddle tails, circle hooks, bait hooks, one ounce uh, weights and some leader. And then I've got some frozen pinfish that uh, Jose didn't need. And that's some couple frozen water bottles. And then I always just bring some uh, gulp shrimp and I think there's some crabs in there just in case they're being finicky. And that's my rig. All right. Starting off with the, what size are we? Uh, just a little too small close but want a little bit bigger wasn't having much luck over there by the uh, man-made cut channels so I came over here to the cut with the bridge uh, mainly because as you can see there's current and wherever you got current then you're gonna find fish so there's a lot more activity over here so we're gonna see what we can catch <coughs> bunch of things messing with it but that's a good thing with pinfish just the big ones tend to take it Stay out there. Stay out there. No. Get out of there. No. Stay out of there. Get in here. Oh no. That's our keeper. Ooh. There we go. Oh, combat fishing. That's actually a little big. Definitely a keeper. All right, so he's going in the box. I'm making sure I don't lose them. Put them in this way. And there we go. So that's kind of way above our slot, but that's okay. We'll keep playing with them. Too small. Too big, too small. I need the little red riding hood size. Well, the small ones eluded me. Well, the really small ones I caught, but that 10, 11 inches I just could not find. So I'll settle for that one medium one. Um, that one medium will probably have the same meat equivalent as two small ones anyway. So. But anyways, we're going to head on home, drop that fish off, head to the grocery store, pick up some ingredients, and get to cooking. Well, we didn't get the small ones, but we got this nice one. It ends up being 14 and a half inches. So a nice solid chunk of meat there. So that's more than enough. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. And I'm going to do it whole. So I'm just going to scale, gut it, and then go from there.
Now we're just going to gut it out and I'm going to just make a couple of incisions here at the collar. Now I'm just going to put some light cuts in there to help it cut evenly and then these chunks peel off the bone after it's cooked very easily so you get bite sized chunks. Alright, time for the grocery store. Yeah, we're going to start off frying up some plantains. My green plantains <laughs> turned yellow, so it got into like a, a midway point. But they're starchy, so that'll work. And we're just going to fry those up and then use the same oil to fry up the fish. All right, my orange that was supposed to be green plantains are pretty much uh, good to go there. So I'm just gonna take those off and let them draw oil drain off. And then we'll go to uh, step number two. So we're gonna end up frying this nice 14 and a half inch snapper here. Just gonna hit it with a little bit of lemon juice to start with. Get it in those cracks there. That'll help the uh, spices to uh, stick a little better. Got a, a little bit of Got a little bit of garlic powder. Do some salt. Got a little bit of cumin. Then we've got some pepper. Then we're gonna see hit it with a little bit of flour. And this is going to make it nice so we're going to be able to eat the skin as well. Alright, we're ready to go. Alright, we're going to drop our fish. It's all ready to go. Doesn't quite fit, so we'll have to do it in stages. <laughs> so big I'm having to do it in two separate sections. Or four sections, actually. So we're getting the back half. I'll flip it and then will be done. Okay, we had a somewhat successful flip, so we just got the front half there, then I just got to do the tail section at this, and then we'll be all good. Alright, it's all done, so we're going to attempt to swing it over to our drying rack without pieces falling off, hopefully. Slowly, slowly, tail. Ah, success! Alright, dinner is done. We have our nice mangrove snapper. We did a fried version on it. Black beans and rice some Cuban bread with butter, 
This one was supposed to be green plantains, but my plantains kind of got that mid-range. They weren't uh, sweet soft, but they weren't green, but I fried those up anyways. That's my starch. Replacement for a potato french fries, so I salted those up. And these are the sweeter ones, so this one was a bit riper. Um, I basically um, sauteed them in butter and then a little bit of brown sugar. Probably didn't need the brown sugar, they're pretty sweet as they are. Okay, so this is what I call a Happy Meal. <laughs> Get a little bit of fish here. Hmm. This is such a perfect size because you get those nice big thick chunks of um, filet that just comes right off. You always want to make sure that you do those slices in the ribs. And then that whole section will just roll right off. Excellent. Some black beans and rice. Yeah, this is a very hearty meal. Mm. Delicioso. You get all the meat off, very little waste. So it's a great way of doing it. Like my original plan today was to catch those small 10 to 11 inches and then cook them different ways to show you how to prepare them so that you're not wasting it. Cause when you fillet a little 10 or 11 inch snapper or any fish really, you just don't get very much meat on the fillets. But if you do it a different ways in the whole style, then you get a, a decent amount of meat because you could pick through it, lick the bones and so forth. So really excellent way. So that's it. Catch and cook. <laughs> I know some people have been waiting. Um, I've had about coming close to about two weeks, about 10 videos, three weeks, 10 videos or so without being flagged um, as uh, not advertiser friendly. So that was, I'm gonna test the waters here with the catch and cook, do a couple other videos and just kind of keep track of it. Um, both my views and subscribers are, are running strong again. Um, I can always tell right off the bat when there's an issue because everything just drops, okay? They stop, they basically will stop um, promoting my channel and video so everything just, all of a sudden just tanks. So I know that they're kind of having issues, so I kind of cut back and just kind of ease through it. And then once I see it starts picking up again, then start hitting it again. But uh, we've also got funky weather going on. We get these huge swings where we've last three days have been um, that storm front pushing down. So we dropped 20 degrees into the 60s for one day. Uh, but it was cool for that, that three days and then those north to south winds really turned stuff up. Today was a decent day. Had a, it's a kind of a, a lull and then tomorrow we get 30 knot winds so it's going to go crazy again. So no fishing for another two days or two maybe three days and then it goes through another down cycle. And then it looks like towards the end of the month it cleans up so we might have some uh, quality uh, weather going on. So we'll have to just play it by ear, but that's kind of what I've been doing with the uh, fishing side of it. But uh, anyways, that's the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's been a while for the catch cooks, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.